Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., all rights reserved. We're back at 17 till. I'm Jim Blastingame. Thanks for hanging out with me. Don't want to miss a minute of our visit with our good friend Bruce Piasecki. He's uh, one of the most interesting guys I know, and, and the work he's doing is very fascinating. He's talking about uh, doing more with less, the uh, making sure that we that that we we're, the work that we do, the way we the way we operate on planet Earth is sustainable. You know, Bruce, you you really got me started thinking about this guy, idea of sustainability. And I've I've been I've been weaving that word into more and more of my work uh, on profit on quality uh, the quality process as I talk about it with with other folks when I talk about uh, you know doing business with people if if you don't if you aren't doing uh, profitable business with people you can't be sustainable you can't sustain no, your I got business. two thoughts on that Jim yeah definitely and what's wonderful over the years Jim is that you posted a lot of our interviews. Yep, about all of them. Uh, frugality, about scarcity, about uh, and and I think you, if you, if your listeners go to the ones that talk about how creativity and invention comes from that encounter of scarcity, that's the very heart of why small business mm-hmm. is so important to society. But what I wanted to add to it today is is this notion that small can learn from big and small can stimulate big. Mm-hmm. And so the main reason we're interested in getting some small CEOs and founders involved in our um, things that we do for the multinationals. So, you know, everybody knows about the giant company Diageo, right, that owns 14 brands from Mm -hmm. Guinness to you name the alcohol brand. They're Mm -hmm. the largest in the world. Well, they're also the first encountering the scarcity of water and milk. Right. Because when you get a brand that's so big that you can't, you can't, Find enough milk for your baby. That's just like McDonald's trying to find your potatoes. You're encountering the very essence of sustainability, and small business can have local inventions to so- solve that. You know, mm-hmm. for example, part of the talk uh, in three weeks from the the Agile leader is about how they formed regional co-ops to develop enough milk in dairy farms because real estate was becoming so valuable that dairy farms was being underestimated. Right, mm-hmm. so. There's all kinds of chains of consequence between these workshops. We're, we're also hearing from Bayer Crop Science on enterprise risk because they are dealing with the reality that as we go through each decade and we have 7 billion souls on the earth, mm-hmm. we don't have any more arable land than we had when E.F. Schumacher gave his warnings but, about But we have, well, we have, we, I'm, you know, I'm not worried about, about land and I'm, but but I do think this this idea of water is yes. is that's that's the real. I don't. I think a lot of people are asleep at the switch on 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 how precious and how how maybe divisive and, and controversial uh, water. The simple thing of water is going to be in the 21st century. Totally with you. So, for example, we have a board member Nancy Tour T U O R of the great engineering firm. CH2M Hill, talk about how they're supplying water for the British 2012 Olympics. Uh-huh. Uh, w- what that takes in terms of River Thames, what it takes in terms of inst- in- infrastructure, how many thousands of suppliers they have to work up with. We also have a speaker from ConAgra, which is a great supplier of food around the world, talking about sustainable packaging and how it relates to reductions on water use to keep food safe. So these things are interactive. Well, then, see, and, and the, the, thing, largest, the reason the why largest retailer in Canada, we have a talk coming up. The reason why too. I want my audience to know about what you're doing, Bruce, is because everything that those guys, all the, their their enterprise risk, their concerns about water, their uh, their, their concerns about about disclosure, all those things become writ small when they filter down to their small subcontractors. And and, exactly. and 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 the good news is 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 people who've been around for you know over ten years remember the Y two K letters that that we all had to sign for our bigger customers because they wanted to make sure we were Y two K compliant. Well, folks, 
you know, one day you're going to get a letter from one of your big customers that says, if you want to keep doing business with us, you have to show us how you're how you're being a good steward of water. Absolutely. And you so, folks, this is about, coming. Jim, as you're talking, yep, yep. This is coming. One, one of the things that I want to give the feeling to your listeners of, because they can get a lot at ahcgroup.com for free. We post the archives of these talks, you know, that, and, mm-hmm. and it's not an expensive event. We offer a 50% discount to the founders of small organizations, any organization less than 500 people. So all you'd have to do is send me an email, bruce at ahcgroup.com, and we'll shepherd you into these workshops. We keep them at 80 a unit. Mm-hmm. But what I wanted to do is give you the feeling of camaraderie and group invention that we've earned after 20 years. That's what's special is the, the small business people like Phil Fina, who formed a, a remedial firm called Aztec Technologies that's been involved for um, about seven years, or Pat Mahoney, who's the CEO of Energy Answers International, they come away with business partners that are a thousand times their size. Mm-hmm. And so Pat Mahoney is building in Baltimore Harbor a renewable energy unit that he could only build by knowing these three giant users, the firm that mm-hmm. Arcadis, that's the cleanup firm, um, the utility that's buying the power, and FMC, our client, which he's buying the lease on the land. So it's these business-to-business alliances that in the end arrive. Well, and, and, then, and, then Bruce, and then, Bruce, extend that out to the subcontractors that are, that are listening to you and me right now who are in, the, in, the, in that area, in, in, in the, in, in where, where this company is, and, and they're supporting him, or there's a contractor supporting a contractor of that company. And, folks, these are the kinds of folk customers, if you find them, if you find the people who are working on sustainability, who are working on frugality, who are working on, on, on energy innovation, those are the companies you want to try to do business with and, and, and hook up to their wagon because that's the future, my friends. Tintail, right back with Bruce Piasecki. We're going to talk about small is beautiful. Stay with us. Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., intended for the private use of our audience. Except as otherwise provided by copyright law, all other copying, redistribution, or publication without prior written consent is prohibited. All rights reserved.